What's up, my love bugs and love muffins? Another dollar, another day. It's like, <laughs> that was still. <laughs> I'm so stupid. I'm sitting out here. Tina and them just went swimming. I'm just sitting in the car. <laughs> and I figured if I'm sitting here, why not do a video? And talk to you all. Hey, scrub glugs and glug guffins. Okay, yeah. Look at the back car of the car, y'all. Oh my god. All them uh, bo uh boxes and totes and stuff like that and stuff like that and stuff. That's the stuff that we needed to keep on us and carry. I'm in a good mood today, y'all. So the looks outside, um, where I'm at. It's a beautiful day. Let me look that up there. I'm proud of you, Michigan. Huh? It is 81 degrees out. And I'm just sitting here thanking God that he woke me up this morning and clothed me in my right mind. Amen. I still have the activities of my limbs. I am grateful this morning. I am grateful on today. I'm grateful that I'm back on track because I was off track and I got up at 7.30 this morning. I went to Tim Hortons, got me a coffee at 10.25. And y'all look, they got these uh, spinach egg bites. And it's, a, it's a, uh, like a scrambled egg. It's like in a shape of this, this top round center part. And um, it's an egg and it's got spinach in it. I don't know if it's egg white or egg, yeah, it might be the egg white, but with spinach in it, but it's whipped, whatever. And it's and it's like you bite into it. It's like, you know, biting into a scrambled egg, whatever. But those is good. Those are good. You get two for uh, like $2.59 or something like that. I'm so happy to be back home, y'all. I am, I am. Because they didn't have no Tim Hortons in Alabama or Georgia. They did have a Tim Hortons in Tennessee, but that was just kind of like too far to go get it or whatever. But look at Tina, y'all. Therefore, any man say something against the, the the father until i get my place we don't all be together so you know sometimes we do not stay in the night with each other because everybody want to be at their own you know they want to be at their they favorite spot you know what i'm saying you know how he is favorite i want to be at my cu this cousin's house or i want to be at this friend's house or whatever and terrell terrell's at work y'all i'm proud of him he's at work again today he facetimed me He's doing good. I'm proud of him. And, um, but it's hard catching up with him because, you know, he's the editor of the videos and Tina, Tina, my caregiver for Eloise. And we just can't fall off of this, y'all. I got so many ideals I want to do. I took all y'all suggestions, that, you know, like putting Tina in scrubs and she going to take me to Walmart. I'm going to hook it up. I'm, I'm going to hook it up. I got that Walmart one coming. Um, what else? Um, I'm gonna do the one where they said had Miss Eloise cooking in the cafeteria. I'm sneaking up at night trying to cook and I almost burn some. I'm a, I ain't gonna tell you all the stuff. I ain't gonna tell y'all. I, I gotta be surprised. But these are suggestions though that people have put in the box down below. You know, the comment box section. What I'm doing so as far as business on the floor though, um, I'm gonna show y'all better than I can tell y'all about the aprons. I'm not gonna talk about it. But um, I'm applying um, for some jobs. I'm applying for some jobs, and I, uh, I don't even have to apply, really. I just want to go around and see the best match. But I can get my old job back, you know. I called and talked to my supervisor. And this was two months. I already knew that I can get my job back, like, two months ago. And so um, that's on the floor. I'm going in, and she said, just come in and f uh, 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 fill out another app and let me uh, re-interview you just for the process or whatever. But, yeah, you get your job back. <laughs> Look at God. Look at God and say, Millions didn't make it, but I was one of the ones who did. I wish I could sing soprano, y'all. Soprano's got the prettiest voice. They, they notes go up so high, but I got that, you know, I got a little bass in my voice, though. I either alto or they had me in a tenor section at church. Oh, well. But God. Look at God. I'm happy, y'all. I'm just so happy and grateful. Um, I'm at peace. Prayer changes things. Um, I prayed and like I said before we crossed over the border on our way to Michigan, like all negativity and hurt and the past, just let that stuff go. And y'all, I did it. I, 
I let it go and I, I forgave and I forgive and I let live and I live and I'm I'm just I'm just happy. I'm just happy and I'm it's so much better and I'm, I'm I got my focus back like um I, I just gotta drink a bunch of water though, y'all, because my feet I'm telling you, my feet and ankles from driving, I should have had my sneakers on. My feet are so swollen. I know I told y'all that yesterday in my live, but my feet are swollen. They going down some. I was able to prop them up. I did stay on track about my bedtime, though. Um, because I stayed up. I, even though I came in from Michigan yesterday morning, I did not go to sleep, y'all. I stayed up till dang, I wanna say ten. 10.30 and I, and, I, and I got me a good shower and I got in that bed I don't know I don't know what happened after that I just woke up this morning feeling refreshed and I'm so grateful and I'm so thankful for life I'm thankful that he woke me up y'all and I still have another chance to get it right today tomorrow's not promised tomorrow's not promised um y'all I have been like under so much stress for the longest and I, I don't see nothing but up from here you know I feel the word elevation comes to my spirit when I'm talking uh, about myself I see elevation um, I tried to write all all my wrongs like uh, I, I'm trying to dot every I and cross every T Meaning, whoever I offended and hurt, I went back to him, you know. And I apologize for the things that I did and said wrong to offend uh, any of them, you know. Whether it was um, from past relationships and, you know, old churches, um, past friendships all of that y'all you know you you have to you have to and i wanted to see was it you know a difference you know was it gonna make a difference which it does because sometimes we'll do things to people and we'll forget about the wrong that we have done them and caused that person and we'll go on with our life and we wonder why later on down the road things don't turn out like they supposed to we wonder why dang why does this keep happening to me like you know always stop and think what have you caused what type of pain did you cause in a person's life did you hurt somebody did you go back to them did you make it right you know what I'm saying um this may be your karma coming around you know what I'm saying it may be something that you have done that you caused a person to miss staple lesson because you distracted them with your uh pain uh uh, uh 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 your mouth or whatever and cause inflicted pain on them which caused them to stop growing in the process so you have to go back to that person and um ask for forgiveness and tell that person that you're truly sorry for interrupting because uh, of their blessing because just like you got a goal and a blessing in mind to get to and an elevation that you want to be elevated to they have that as well and um i know how i felt when you know, um, somebody hurt me and wronged me. Um, it distracted me. It caused me to lose my focus. I wasn't able to, uh, you know, um, be effective as I was and, and, and my goals that I had set for me because all I could think about was, dang, this person did this to me and hurt and, and uh, this and they said that and, and how could they treat me like that? And, you know, and I'm talking about past relationships, y'all, from, from different ones in your life, from, you know, from church friends to past school friends to you know you got to be specific on this channel you know because people take what you say and run with it but you know just you know I, I, I wonder you know what I'm saying and it was like it, it hindered me it hindered me and I had some people come back to me and was like you know I'm, I'm sorry for you know I said this or I apologize to you that that means so much because you know it not only frees yourself up but it frees the other person up, you know, because a person can walk around all day and every day thinking something wrong with them, thinking they did something and ain't did nothing. It could be you just to snapped on them because you had a bad day and you didn't make them question themselves for the longest. And it wasn't even now, you know, so to go back to that person and be uh, I, I, I commend people like that. I do. That's why um, I'm bringing her name up again. Uh, Melon, Melon and Moreau. 
um, that's something how she did it. I won't forget that. You know what I'm saying? How she came back and apologized like that. You know, a lot of people don't do that, you know. And it has to be some type of uh, a form of godliness in her somewhere, you know, for her to come back like that. Because some, some, I mean, a lot of people don't do it. They don't have any type of um, uh, morals, no morality, no type of way. Um, they, they have no type of conviction. You know, they don't think of, say what they say and think about it later. I mean, I'm like, I should have said that. I know I'm like that. You know what I'm saying? If I, I done people, I'm not perfect, y'all. I'd always say that. I'm not. You know, um, that's why I, I don't put the word hypocrite under my title. I'm not a hypocrite. You know, I'm a Christian with feelings and I fall short, but I know how to repent. But one thing you ain't gonna catch me doing is out here cussing somebody out and, um, you know, and acting all provocative and, and half naked and drunk and all of that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna be doing nothing like that. But anyway, you know, um, this is what I get. I get off the subject about what I was talking about. Go left field somewhere. That's another thing. I gotta get my attention span checked because I got this train of thought. You know what I'm saying? I, I talk about stories and I end up over here. Uh, yeah. Anyway, short attention span, something. But you always want to be careful and go back. That's what I'm trying to say to a person that you know that you offended and hurt so that they could be free and move on. That's all I'm saying, you know. Uh, I want to be that type of person. I want God's blessings. I want everything that God has for me. Um, anything that's negative that's said towards me. Um, you know, my supporters, you know, I, I appreciate them. Um, I appreciate the shout out that I had got the other day from TNK Squad. I'm addressing them. Yes, I'm being an adult. Oh my gosh, she said TNK. I know she didn't say. Yes, I did. I'm addressing them because they addressed me. Um, message to Reva. I have to address that. You know what I'm saying? Because that's, that's an adult way. An adult does that. Adults handle things in that manner. So, um, I appreciate the, um, the support. That was the support. Let that stuff go. Don't let them kids get to you. And my supporters, they tell me that all the time. Let the support go. Don't let them get to you like that. You know what I'm, I mean, let the, uh, hold up. I'm telling them, hold up, hold up. Uh, hold up. Let, let, uh, that mess go. Don't let them get to you like that. And, um, don't let it, um, affect you and speak on things more positive and let that stuff go. I have to, you know what I'm saying? And, and to focus on um, more positiveness from here because that's how I'm gonna grow. I got goals in life, y'all. I don't care if I'm 49 years old. Some of y'all say she so shit with her old stuff. Baby, I ain't no old. I'm just down living, okay? Um, I'm in the prime of my life. But um, call me old when I'm you know, up there in the 70s or 80s, whatever. But anyway, um, I got goals. I got a life too. You know what I'm saying? I got a right to be on Facebook. There's, I mean, YouTube. There's no age limit when it comes to YouTube. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't say uh, from 40 and up you got to get off and all of this type of stuff. As long as my content is inspirational, I'm trying to be the adult on here if, if, if some of y'all children would let me be. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to um, bring more laughter. Um, um, I'm trying to bring more inspiration if y'all allow me to do that. And so and that's what I plan on doing. And blessings as well. I love to bless people. I love to make a, some people laugh. I'm goofy. I'm a kid at heart. I've always been, you know. That's just the type of person I am. I just thank God. I'm just happy and, you know, um, I've let everything go. I've let every uh, everything go that, that, you know, that hurts me or anyone who ever hurt me. I've, 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 I've forgiven them. And um, I just want to say again, if I offended anyone on here, um, if I said something... To, to hurt you all or y'all took something the wrong way forgive me I'm sorry I'm sorry if I offended you um, some of my content may have bothered you um, didn't mean anything by it I just be trying to be as honest as I can I just want y'all to forgive me and that's what I'm asking y'all I'm just living because it's, I find out when I do that and I let things go I'm a happy person right now I'm happy I'm about to go in this video and hopefully find Terrell if not I'm gonna hit up Ajane because Ajane edit too peace out and what? In Jesus' name. Hey, be blessed. Amen.